Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I hope you stay. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kelly. On this channel, I love to do videos on fragrances mainly. I also do videos on body care, such as Bath and Body Works and things like that. Everything just smell good, feel good, and look good. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell down below. So YouTube always notifies you every time that I upload a video. And if you are a returning subscriber or returning viewer, welcome back. Hello. Super happy to have you guys here. I'm super grateful for you guys' support. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm super excited for today's video. Today's video is going to be a little fun video. It is going to be five perfumes that I love and five perfumes that I hate. So this is a perfume tag. I saw Sunny Scents doing this video. I loved her videos. So definitely check her video out. So she basically tagged me and every creator who watches her video. So yeah, you guys, let's get right into okay, you guys, it. So before we start today's video, I wanted to show you guys some glasses that I got sent over by Zillow. They sent over six pairs of glasses for me to try on. So I was super excited when they reached out to me and wanted to send over some glasses for me to try. So I'm going to be trying them for you guys. Any sales or any discount codes that they give me for you guys, I will leave it in the description box down below. Zelo does all types of glasses. They do prescription glasses, blue light blocking glasses, non-prescription glasses, prescription glasses, everything. And thank you so much to Zelo for sending over um, these glasses for me. I have been wearing one of the pairs of glasses, you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys which one it is. It's my favorite. So they come packaged really cute in these little baggies so so cute like suede baggies each individually packed and then when you open them they each come with a cleaning cloth with their brand on it really cute and these are the glasses one of the glasses that they sent over to me are blue light glasses which means that you will wear them every time that you're on your phone or watching tv because the blue light from the tv and the phone messes with your eyes gives you migraines and a lot of other issues so i'm super excited for these glasses but these are my favorite ones you guys i love these ones so much and these ones are the contrera glasses i will leave them all linked down below but they are just clear and look how they look on super cute i might put these on for the rest of the video because i just love these but look how beautiful they are you can't say these are gorgeous and they protect your eyes from the blue light from your phone and the tv the computer and their prices are very 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 affordable so i love that but yeah these are the first ones let me know which ones are your favorite ones you guys from these six pairs the second ones are called the brenda these are called brenda they have like a print on them like some type of like animal print and then gray and they're like pretty big frames I don't love these as much as I love the first ones, but they're still cute. I'll put them on so you guys can see how they look. And yeah, these are the Brenda glasses. They're very big and nice and chic. So yeah. The next ones I'm super excited about because they look so chic and gorgeous. These are called the Brandon glasses and they are black all around very thick and just very good quality but this is how they look and let me show you how they look on look at this so freaking cute so cute right and so chic and you could get these with your prescription or just 
with the blue light blocking. The next ones are called rods and they are purple, like a thinner frame. They're purple and they have blue as well on the inside. And then on the side, they have glitter right here, like silver glitter. And then the little legs are black. So this is what they look like. What do you guys think? next ones i'm super excited about as well because they look so pretty and chic and elegant and these ones are called the Qatar Qatar, if i'm saying that right and they have like some type of like leopard print and some very cute pearls and then the gold detailing on the legs are gold they're just so cute so let me put them on Oh my god, and these are so comfortable. Look at these glasses, you guys. Aren't they cute? They make me feel very artsy and chic. And then the last ones, you guys, are the Malcolm. So these are like a clear cream color. Super cute. These look really cute, right? I like these these are so cute i love these these are all really cute glasses so yeah you guys let me know which ones are your favorite down below so yeah, you guys i will leave all of the details for all of these glasses down below in the description box and again thank you zelo for sending over these beautiful frames i love them okay, guys, so let's get right into the video we're going to start with the perfumes that i hate and hate is a strong word you guys so i don't know if i would say i absolutely hate them but i really really dislike this fragrances i do not like them at all they did not work for me it was an immediate no for me and just a disclaimer you guys if you guys love any of these fragrances that i hate no offense to you i'm not trying to offend anyone i'm just sharing my personal opinion and it is supposed to be funny and light please don't take this serious at all this is just fun and games and also me sharing my personal opinion on fragrances because that is what i do all right you guys so the first perfume that i hate I don't even have it all of these perfumes that i hate i don't have because i already declared them because i could not stand them so the first one that i hate is this one right here and this one's called slay by paris and rebel scents that fragrance was so so bad if you guys seen my decluttering video part one that fragrance was decluttered because it was horrible it literally smelled like a very toxic cleaning product like a lemon mixed with orange very very toxic cleaning product and i could not stand it so that one was decluttered the next perfume that i hate is zara's cherry smoothie that fragrance smells straight up like cherry incense like a lit cherry incense and i don't know about you but i don't want to walk around smelling like smoked cherry but in that way i don't want to walk around smelling like a very strong incense i just do not i don't like it it was very cloying it made me feel like i couldn't breathe it was just awful so yeah that is number Their two perfume that i hate is julia has a gun not a perfume super dose that fragrance smells so so bad it literally smells on my skin it smells like breath like body odor and like mop water that is how bad that fragrance smells just think about all of that together like somebody's breath you know when somebody doesn't drink water all day and then they talk to you in front of you and you get hit with that like dry nasty breath scent that's what it smells like on my skin mixed with mop water and body odor like that scent 
that kids have on them and in their hair when they're outside playing all day and then they come back inside i know that you guys know what i'm talking about that's literally what that fragrance smells like on my skin do not like it at all i do not like it at all the next perfume that i dislike that i didn't even purchase i just smelled it and i knew i never wanted to smell that again was angel the p i do not like that scent at all it's so strong it's bad it smells like hot breath and star anise and licorice just no it does not smell good my opinion i don't like it i don't like it at all and then the last perfume that i hate is victor and ralph flower bomb i love how that perfume smells you guys so the smell is not the problem okay the smell of this perfume the scent of this perfume is not the problem the problem is the scent memory that i have with this perfume this perfume smells exactly like my dad's ex-girlfriend and I hate it and I just can't wear it I can't wear it I purchased it because I really like the scent I sprayed it on me and I was just hit with all of the memories of when I had her in my life and I just could not stand it so now I hate Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb sadly because it is a good perfume I mean it didn't last on my skin it didn't have the best longevity but it smelled good and I was willing to use it but I literally bought it used it twice every time I smelled myself I got wind of it every time I sprayed it out it just reminded me of her and I just couldn't I couldn't stand it so I declutter it so that's the last perfume that I hate guys so now into more of a positive note let's get into five perfumes that i absolutely love i don't know if these are my top five perfumes but they're definitely in my top 10 um i just didn't want to repeat the same perfumes that i'm always talking about like my favorite olympia and all of those fragrances gold rush by paris hilton you guys already know those are like my faves so i wanted to talk about five other fragrances that i absolutely love so let's get right into it first one that i absolutely love is alien by mugler this is a beautiful fragrance it is a beast mode fragrance it has very great longevity projection sillage everything people will smell you when you walk into the room if you're wearing this fragrance it will stay on your clothes when you hug someone it will probably the scent will probably stay on them the scent will stay on your seatbelt of your car the scent will stay on your jacket the scent will probably stay on whatever chair you sit in for the night it's just that type of scent it is a beast mode scent it is beautiful dark sexy seductive just like a strong bold woman that is what this smells like it is an amazing amber fragrance it is not for everybody at all only wear this if you're bold <laughs> and only wear this if you want people to ask you what are you wearing or to notice that you walked into the room because that is what this fragrance is it is that it is attention grabber everything it is everything it smells amazing as well i just absolutely love this fragrance the next one is soul scandal by john paul gatier i love this one you guys already know that i love the scandal a paris but i also love love this one i sprayed it right here on my hand it's just very sweet syrupy kind of dark um i think it has two bros in it because it smells kind of like that slightly bubblegummy two bros scent it has that like in the background it's very sweet seductive syrupy deep i love this one and it lasts so long and everyone smells you as well when you walk into the room this is my type of fragrance i like fragrances that are loud that are bold that is the type of fragrance that i like and this one is one of them it is very sexy 
very bold beautiful syrupy sweet dark seductive i just love this one the next one is this one it has the biggest dent because i absolutely love this fragrance and i need to repurchase it and i want to purchase the flankers and this one is ysl mom betty and it is a beautiful girly sophisticated elegant strawberry scent it is very deep as well it is seductive it lasts long it is sexy it is just beautiful to me i love this scent it is one of my favorite fragrances and it has so many i have like so many memories with this fragrance i purchased it in december you guys and look already how it is because i love it that much like i was wearing it and wearing it and wearing it kind of like my signature scent for like a month or two it is just amazing and i always find something to layer with this into the night it's great to layer with this as well it's just very seductive and pretty i love this one next one is hypnotic poison edt by dior i love this scent this is a very like tonic creamy a little bit powdery scent i love this and i'm super excited for the fall and winter to come so i can start wearing this again i just love it and for an edt it has great 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 longevity and it has really good projection as well not crazy beast mode but you do smell it you know if somebody's next to you they will smell it it smells so good i don't know what people are saying because some people say that this smells like play-doh i do not smell any play-doh in this i just smell creaminess like like tonic almond kind of powdery type of scent i love this and i love to layer this with very gourmand fragrance mist i love this fragrance like i love 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 this fragrance the last fragrance is billy eilish eilish perfume it is a newer perfume to my collection but i absolutely love this scent now you guys it is a very fresh sweet vanilla literally smells like fresh it has something in it that makes it fresh it just smells like very fresh vanilla extract that's literally what it smells like to me nothing more nothing less just very fresh vanilla extract and the more i wear it the more like i'm like yeah this smells straight up like vanilla extract like if i put vanilla extract on my body but like the good vanilla extract like the real vanilla extract not like the imitation vanilla extract that's what it smells like it smells very very hey guys, good i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you are a fragrance creator watching this video i tag you and i can't wait to see your five perfumes that i love five perfumes that i hate thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one Tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te vas Aunque sé que no